Hey guys, it's your DoorDash guy. Uh, I'm, I decided to make a video, um, because of somebody actually that inspired me, um, on YouTube today. Um, I had just seen, and I want to make a huge shout out to her, um, and I, I hope that, um, the res ending result of this, um, gets to Tony, um, the CEO of, uh, DoorDash, if you don't know. Um, Stephanie Delivers killed it. She absolutely killed it. So if you haven't seen her video, you need to go check it out. Um, big shout out to her. Um, Stephanie Delivers. She's, um, been a huge, um, mentor to a lot of people, um, at DoorDash. She, I remember when I watched, um, my first, uh, her first, fit, or not her first, but it was a, a video that I had first seen and, um, I subscribed immediately. She's very knowledgeable and she's very real. Um, and anyways, to add on to this, she made a video about reaching to, reaching to Tony, um, from the drivers, um, from the dashers aspect. She made it, uh, she made it, um, very personable. And I think that what needs to happen here is I think the only way to communicate with DoorDash is, is by doing exactly what she did is, is by, um, voicing our um, concerns and our our uh, opinions about the way that stuff's being handled, um, in profession unprofessionally and unaccept it's just unacceptable, um, and we have no control. We're doing the best that we can as dashers, um, and um, it's just doesn't seem to be good enough. And uh, I wanted to I wanted to basically add on to what she was saying. Um, you know. It's really stressful when you, I might personally, I do this full time. Um, I, I do, I also work for Postmates as well. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I do it because I, I like it. People ask me all the time, well, why do you make so many negative videos about, you know, DoorDash and stuff? Well, it's because there's no way, there's no way to get through to anybody without, um, you know, you can't pick up the phone and call DoorDash and get, get in touch with anybody. You know, they'll simply just tell you, oh, they're going to escalate it to wherever. And then it just gets lost, lost and escalated heaven, wherever. Um, and then that's, that's it. You know, I mean, I have like 17 emails and, uh, that have different case numbers that I've never heard back from any of them, you know? Um, so I bring up points that, that, um, are totally, uh, legit and, um, concerns me. These, these things concern me. Um, the, the, okay, the top, top five, you know, okay. The late, no, the late times, okay. The arrival times. That's, that's, that's a huge, a huge thing that needs to be corrected. Um, Stephanie mentioned it. She hit it on the, she hit the nail on the head. Um, also the next thing would be is, is the rating. I mean, the rating system is corrupt. She also mentioned that. Um, I've mentioned this in a lot of videos. Um, so the rating, the rating system is, is a joke and, and people are getting deactivated because of that, um, three is, uh, I would actually talk to the calls, people who answer our telephone calls, um, or who reach out to us, you need to train these people and, uh, train these people not to be so fake about, um, you know, dealing with the situation. So, so, I mean, 80% of the time you're going to get a legit, I mean, I mean, you're going to get a person that's just being phony baloney. And then, you know, there's that 20% that, you know, you're going to get somebody who stands by their word. Otherwise they're just going to lie to you and just to get you off the phone. Um, it's really disrespectful. Um, and, and then you send an e follow-up email to see, and you want us to like rate, rate how they did. Well, who's going to actually follow up and look at those is the question. You know, those are, I mean, it's like we totally are just doing these things. There are so many extra steps, and they would be great if you guys actually utilize them and actually, um, you know, if we did rate our phone our phone calls that we get or if, uh, the call center, then it would be. I mean, if if really if you reviewed those, then you would know um, what needs to be done and what needs to be changed because nothing's been done, you know, um, and. Uh, Number, another thing is, is I really would love to see the transparency, um, of how we get paid. You know, I, I, I think it's completely, um, 
bizarre to, to, to have to like wonder what your customer tipped you as an independent contractor. You, we, we have, uh, you know, we, we should be able to know what, how our money is being dispersed to us. You know, what portion comes from the customer and how much comes from DoorDash and it's, you know, and then not just a generalized number that, that adds, keeps adding up for the whole week. And then you just, you know, it, it, it raises questions and, and, and it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. I mean, all the other platforms don't do it this, this way. Um, and I wasn't with DoorDash when you guys were just doing the flat $5, you know, you get $5 on top of the customer's tip. Um, but to have no, um, to have no, like, knowledge to about like how much your customer left you as a tip it's really kind of up in the air especially when you're getting sent on a 20 mile delivery and you're getting paid under 10 bucks you know and or or you get an order that's over you know 70 80 bucks and then you're getting less than like six bucks you know so usually um people at least tip 10 percent. sometimes you get the people that won't and then yes doordash will cover it up to make the bare minimum um, but, but DoorDash, you got to understand, you can't be using the customer's money to base on how you're going to pay us. You know, it's, it's completely, it's a completely, um, lie. I mean, it, it's like, you're not, you don't even mention that to, uh, on, on the application. It says, you know, it says, uh, customer, your, uh, your tip is your tip. It goes to the dasher hundred percent. And it, but it does, and then it says, but it doesn't say anything about you putting a dollar on top of it or, or it doesn't say it, it says it like backwards. It's like, it's, it's, it's like you should say, okay, well, we're going to use your money. And then if that meets what, um, our, our, our minimum criteria, we're just going to go ahead and, um, tip the, or, or add on the driver's fee, but bare minimum, um, because you've already, t- you've already took care of the whole thing anyways. You know, it's not that's not right. It, it, it needs to be set to where you guys pay us dashers a consistent amount every time. Like, I, I mean, I, I wish I would have been around, I guess, the, when the days when, I mean, money was really good. Money was, I guess, really good. Everyone, everyone was talking about. So transparency is a big, big, big problem that uh, DoorDash needs to correct. Um, and it's, 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 it's just really sad, um, to see, um, people that are starting out that don't, that don't know, you know, and I, and I know that these, and I know these Dasher by now, um, if, if you've worked for them for at least a month, you kind of get to know that it's not the gig that you thought it was. Um, and that's not what I'd like to see. I'd like to see it. I, I'd like to see Dashers, you know, a long time, you know, stick through it and, and stuff, but, but it's the turnover rate, like is going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. And I don't know if that's your guys' like mission or goal is to like knock out the people that, that are really good drivers that have been around, um, and slowly knock them down in their rating like me. Um, but, uh, I don't know where your guys' heads at. So Tony, um, this is a message also from another dasher out there. Um, it would be great if you, got more of these, um, uh, these personable, uh, videos for you to look at and really understand that this is, this is a very, this is a job that we have to, you know, our expenses are out of control. First of all, we have a 1099, so we have to pay our own taxes, which we don't, you know, sometimes there's a lot of people that struggle to make even $10 an hour, $11 an hour doing this. Okay. We pay for our gas. We pay for our, you know, our, our, the, the wear and tear on the car is absolutely insane. Like, I can't tell you how much money that I have to put into that. I live paycheck to paycheck and, uh, and, and don't, and, and sometimes even have to get a loan from my parents, you know, or, or, or whatever, every once in a while, like that's, pretty bad, you know, consider. And then on top of that, I do this sometimes about 50 hours a week, you know? So I'm not just putting all my time into it. Um, because I like to do this. This is why I still do it. Um, I like dashing. I like the interaction with people. I like moving around. It's, it's, it's fun. Um, but what's not fun is, is having to, like I said, 
live paycheck to paycheck. Like half, I literally have to do this every day. I don't remember the last day I had any sort of full day off. I don't. Um, because I have to, you know, living expenses are outrageous. You know, gas is going up like crazy. You've got to take these things into consideration. You can't keep cutting us down or cutting us short on our, on our uh, deliveries. Um, so anyways, this message is to add on to Stephanie delivery delivers. She did amazing. Um, I think that more dashers that ha have issues or need to, uh, make a video, I think they should make a video and, uh, um, direct it directly to Tony. So Tony, if you're listening, I'm not here to, I'm not here to like bad mouth DoorDash. I'm not trying to bad mouth them. I'm really trying to get like, you know, connect. I'm really trying to get you to listen that this can't happen. This can't be something that's, uh, you know, goes on like this. It's, it sucks. And I've been doing this now for about four months and I, uh, uh, I really would like to keep doing it. My rating is currently dropped down to a 4.1. Um, I'm, 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 I'm really that I'm to the point to where I start dashing every day. And I don't know if my, if when I turn on my phone, if my phone's actually going to let me, uh, log on. That's what it, that's what it's like. And it's like every single time, every day, I, I mean, I, I believe I dashed the best I could and it went great. And then all of a sudden I wake up the next morning and it went down like a ton, but it never seems to go up a ton. So, um, hopefully I won't get deactivated. Um, if I do it, uh, it's unfortunate. So anyways, guys, uh, video is going to be, uh, ended right now. So, <laughs> uh, Tony, thanks. If you saw it, um, please consider. That's all I say. You guys have fun dashing out there. Uh, be safe and, uh, please subscribe and share this with everybody possible. So that way the message will get out. Okay. Let's see the next stasher video to, to Tony. Okay, guys. See you later.